Hello, folks. It's Sunday the 22nd. Are you hanging in there? Because I certainly am. Yes, I'm washing my hands frequently. Yes, I'm staying in the house. But thankfully, I have my own yard so that um, if I need some fresh air, I can just step out, front yard or backyard. I'm doing well. I haven't coffee for some reason. My coffee this morning didn't came out kind of rank. I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong, but it's... Uh, Yuck. Next pot needs to be better. Um, yeah, so um, let's just hang in there, okay? I never got to music in the last video, and if any of you read the comments, you'll see the comments are interesting. And uh, I want to make one comment regarding a flow where someone thought they offended me. No, they didn't offend me. Let me say it here that I'm very aware that we all see everything through a filter and words are powerful and important. So I don't allow others to come over here and define me. They may see what they see for themselves, but to tell them, come back and tell me that's what I am because you see it, nah, you know, I don't accept that. You know, this is not hoarding. I'm a mental health professional retired. I've worked with hoarders. I know what hoarding is. This is a library, okay? This is, and again, this is not about preaching to the choir as far as, you know, you know I did get um, trolled yesterday. Um, the one person who I said was trolling and, and responded back explaining themselves, then a, a troll did jump on, you know, and Again, I see through the behavior, so it doesn't offend me or bother me. It's a reflection of whatever is going on with that person. And I claim no responsibility for it. You know, I'm well aware of being in public that I'm a target for people's shit. So I deal with it better now than I used to. I played Wires Manscaped last night. Um, I have the vinyl version, but I played the CD because the CD, um, and this is the, uh, it came out in several versions. This is the limited edition. The, the CD has more songs. And Wire is just a band that is, I think Wire are just exceptional. And this had all this stuff, poster, big poster. I won't unfold it. Um, Wire have, um, very interesting music and they always have a groove you know you don't talk about punk rock bands having a groove and wire is not a punk band but that's how they started but from the very beginning robert go to bed's drumming had this groove now this album i think they're using um machines but um on part of the album, if not the whole thing. But the way that they, because I know how to do it. The way you work off the beat, you can make a machine um, groove. This was really good last night. Comfort food for me is Ryuichi Sakamoto music. And so I listened to Illustrated Musical Encyclopedia last night. This is a Japanese version. It has a single that comes with this particular. There's been several editions of this. Now, the first edition came with a 12 inch single and then the, the reissue came with this seven inch i just love Ryuichi sakamoto thank you folks who compared my music to sakamoto that's a wonderful compliment and i hear where i'm striving for that aesthetic and so i'm glad that it's coming through really enjoyed this last night like i've never enjoyed it before robert calvert's calvert's lucky leaf and the long ships the uh writer who lost his mind, but uh, toured and played with Hawkwind quite a bit. Hawkwind are on here. Brian Eno produced this. Um, I followed the story last night, although I can't remember it now, but it helped a lot because there's musical passages on here where when you just listen to the music, it's like, this sucks. But in the context of what they're talking about, it made sense last night. I really enjoyed this, and that's a great cover. Another record that I seldom play, and last night was, I enjoyed it the most last time ever since I bought it. 
New Zealand or Australia, I think they're New Zealand. Tall Dwarfs, Chris Knox. Um, this is called, the, the that's the short and long of it. This is um, kind of scratchy, lo-fi, but it has all kinds of, um, the word I use is charm. And this is an original, it has the booklet as you can see. And there's an insert, uh, like a record. So I've got the complete thing. And this was really enjoyable last night. I posted it online, really delightful is the word. So that's one of the joys of being here, not really making any music. I might today, Jade Warrior Kites. Um, really unusual, it's, it's almost ambient except they they do these things where they totally disrupt the ambience and set it in another direction, which I find awesome. So it's not just ambient. SF Sorrow, Pretty Things, probably the first concept, rock concept album. Pete Townshend of The Who admitted that he started Tommy based on what being blown away by SF Sorrow. This is a double pack that also has their album Parachute great band great band really like this buckingham Knicks. this is this is a real copy this is a real uh, started a conversation online about this and um of course people's uh, opinions got way riled up this sounds like the fleetwood mac that the, that became when they joined this album could be almost a fleetwood mac album almost and there were some folks who didn't like me saying that. Well, so the fuck what? <laughs> Just in my opinion. <clears throat> and then to get shook about people, it's just our minds, okay? Forgas, Patrick Forgas. Cocktail, this is a Canterbury Prague jazz rock. This is a killer album. Killer album, Cocktail by Forgas, 1977. Forevermore, the band that branched off into two out bands. These guys became the Average White Band and Glencoe. I like Glencoe. I've got their albums. Words on Black Plastic. This is good. It's a funky kind of progressive rock. You can see where they went into funk from this, but this is good. And they do riffs. They have some cool riffs on this album. Forevermore, Words on Black Plastic. I'm going fast because I want to keep this short so I can... Don't, you know, keep it under 10 minutes. One of my all-time favorite albums of all time. I've had this since high school. I've never uh, replaced it. So there's the loving ring wear. Family, Fearless. John Wetton, before he joined King Crimson, all those bands was in this band after Mogul Thrash. Love this album. Fantastic English rock, progressive, whatever you want to say about it. This album is fantastic. One of my de Desert Island albums. Much love to you people. Hold on to your hats. We are in for the long run, and life as we know it has changed for the foreseeable future. Get ready to deal with that, and get ready to make this change a good one, because I'm seeing positive signs already from overseas on the Internet where people are saying this is an opportunity to go greener, to go more humane when we when we beat this virus we will beat it i'm looking at china and how they've turned the corner already we will beat this but if we go back to business as usual shame on us which is what the the majority of capitalists and ignorant people are just thinking we'll just go back to normal this is a chance to save our asses it is